Hello everybody, this is Penny Stock Whispers here doing a stock chart video analysis of WSHE, the E Debit Global Corporated. Last trading day was Tuesday, January 14th. We saw a previous close of 0009 and we closed up last at the same value, giving us a volume of 16,333,461 shares. It's a lot of volume that traded today and uh, we are still holding at that 0009 there. We've got a lot of support building on that and all the accumulation today is going to want to push this up. So I think this is going to do really well in the future. Let's get, take, uh, let's get started taking a look at some of these other indicators here. Everything's looking pretty good. The 14-day RSI is at 43.61. It's uh, leveling out here after a nice climb up from uh, right around this value here was 33.53 not too long ago and it's climbed up since then which is good. It's climbed up nice and slow as well showing uh, strength and support underneath it. I'd like to see that continue to move cross over that 50 anytime soon would be fantastic. Down here on the daily charts I really like our support that we've gained right here at this 0009. Uh, or rather the triple zero eight uh, that we gained up uh, not too long ago here we are hitting at resistance of triple zero nine but we uh, are breaking through it it looks like all this volume is going to help push it up through there is my uh, guess we have another resistance point here at the uh, trying to find it here at triple at double zero one one is going to be the next resistance line breaking through uh, Breaking through this pink line here, the 12-day EMA is going to be a big moment for the stock. Moving past that, the momentum should really carry it through that first resistance, maybe even the second one here. That's going to push us through the 26-day uh, EMA as well as the upper Bollinger Band. That would really put this forward into that bullish motion that we're looking for. I really like the volume is picked up, like I said here, and all of our other indicators are really uh, just pushing the stock upwards. The MACD line is looking really good. Crossed over the signal line quite a ways uh, back in December while it was still in decline here. But we have been moving up ever since then up towards that zero line looking for that crossover there as well uh, the MACD is looking really good I like to see this continue to move nice and slowly and gradually that's showing some uh, long-term interest on the stock the 15-day tricks is looking good we did cross over the signal line not too long ago so uh, that crossed over at the end of December right before the beginning of the year and that's really when the stock really started to level out here so I think that's going to be a good tell for later on uh, moving up here and the diverging of the signal line and the tricks line is always a good sign nice and bullish Long term, the tricks are telling us that now is the time to buy as we cross over that signal line as well. So the two of these are working in tandem together, and I always like watching the tricks line, and uh, I really like the signal here. It's looking really good. The slow stochastics is also playing nice here. We crossed over the signal line after consolidating. We climbed up quite a bit, pretty fast here. So to see that consolidation and still hold the triple zero nine is always very nice. And crossing over that signal line is showing some renewed strength as well. CCI 20 day is down. It's at negative 112.21. We did cross just underneath that 100 line. But what I like about this is that we've done that repeatedly in the past, and uh, we don't stay down there very long. We don't dip down very far. So I should like to see this uh, stay that way. Uh, in the next couple days, I'd like to see that recover, bounce back up. If anything, uh, if it's anything like the past, it should do so relatively quickly. The Stochastic RSI, I've got a 14-day chart up here. It's looking really good. I like this one a lot. The 14-day uh, moving average on this chart has been climbing steadily, crossed over that 0.5. It's at 0.73 now. And continuing to move up, so it's right in between that bullish region, that 0.8 and 0.5. Always a fantastic place to be. Lots of room to move up and uh, lots of room to move down before we need to worry about that as well. Chuck and Money Flow is telling us that this stock has been trading a lot better recently. In the past, it's been trading underneath that zero line here, so I like to see this recover. Uh, green is always good. The, the red there is letting us know that we are having some issues. But since we're green and moving up still, I'm always very excited about that. I like to see this be a long term hold above the zero line here. Our ADX line here is showing us something a little funny. We do see that our negative DI is diverging from the positive DI that is showing a uh, downtrend, which we are at the bottom of the downtrend, so technically that's not uh, false. like to see this uh, recover, though, with a nice uptrend forming over the next couple days that all of our other indicators are pointing towards. I think that this could do so pretty quickly. The uh, ADX line itself is at 10.56, so that divergence really isn't that significant anyway. And it's only around the 20-25 area that the ADX line becomes anything really relevant to the rest of the chart. The PVO is moving uh, nicely. It's moving up, cross over the signal line and the zero line almost simultaneously. That's always bullish. MFI 14 day is coming down. It's at 21.22, almost hitting that 20 line here. It hasn't stayed underneath. It's dipped down recently in the past as well. And uh, I'd like to see that recover just as easily with the accumulation that we've gathered over the last uh, couple days, especially uh, yesterday. Uh, this shouldn't be too much uh, trouble for WSHE. Everything's looking good in my end. It looks like we've caught this right before the big move. So. I would recommend you do your DD quick because this could move fast. Uh, all these indicators look very bullish. I'd like to see this move up. So 
Uh, if you have any questions or comments about this video or the stock itself, please go in the comment section below. If you're looking for more information on WSHE, I recommend you sign up for our newsletter. We send out all kinds of information about the stocks that we uh, highlight here. You can find us at www.pennystockwhispers.com. And uh, also, if you're on the go, feel free to grab our mobile app. It's the Penny Stock Whispers. It's on Android. It's got a ton of downloads, lots of good reviews. So do that. You can get the information wherever you are. Thank you guys for watching, and best of luck on WSHE tomorrow.